What is up, my crazy, beautiful Vaticanians? My name is Vatican, you can call me V, and welcome back to Parkasaurus. This is part three. I'm going to record four today, basically. Part three in the Great Hardware Panic of the 28th of January 2023. Agatha, you keep getting hungry. Why is that? Oh, you are so far away. Wait, you might be walking for it. Oh, no. It's happened again. One of our Dunkleosteuses. Oh, there you are. Okay, I should be able to fix you, actually, Agatha. Don't worry. I'm coming to help. Oh, you weren't far away. I just couldn't see you. That's why you are hungry. You're free. You can eat. Oh, you're going to be happy. Eat, my child. Don't eat my child. It was comma. Eat my child, not eat my child. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure most of you got that. It's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll continue him. Um, we've got our T-Rexes. They need to get bigger so that they can do... Um, so I can put the hat on them that will... Um, form the set exchange on one of them so that we've got the necessary mate requirements so they don't get too aggy and break things, even if they are super happy. It doesn't make a difference. I can assure you the Sarkosukas still break things. Um, we, of course, then need to think about the shape of our Carno enclosure. I'm thinking of having some fun around over here. I'll hate myself for it, especially with the, um, well, everything. But I feel like I can definitely get away with some of this. So, go here. Right up against this uh, thing. Uh, the clock tower. And then, we can probably come all the way down to here. And that will be the Carno enclosure. So, it's only 2,900 feet. They don't need loads of space. The ones that will need loads of space will, of course, be our sauropods. And we'll only go for the best of the best for the sauropods. So, one of them come all the way out so this does wrap around and you're not walking into the enclosure effectively and then boom and then we will have some walking gaps here for them to view these guys don't have any walking gaps so you can only see them from above or from here which is kind of nice um these guys don't have an elevated area so from here or from here is best really as well as some shading of course but this is quite big. 4,400. That's not actually as big as I thought it was. <laughs> Still pretty big. But could definitely do um, with more space. It's not the end of the world. Those are our final two enclosures. We are literally just waiting to get the guys now. Um, I'm happy with this area. This area's got a little bit of space, but I'm not too fast. I didn't check our ratings. Damn it. I will check that at the end of the day. Someone remind me. Hey, Corey. Remember to check ratings. Last episode was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be because I forgot. I forgot that it needs to be shorter. <laughs> so this one's going to be shorter. Um, and so will the next one. Um, just so I can get this done. I'm not a rush against time. I've got to get a video get up tonight. So it doesn't have to be super duper short. And it's not a super duper thing. It's just wanting to get it edited and sorted as quickly as possible. So I have got a backlog if in case of any more hardware failures. And with a backlog, it allows me to do a Path of Titan session next week. Um, with... Um, Kermit, I'm going to record some Path of Titans. We, as I said, I'm going to branch out a bit more and do some more stuff. Some dinosaur stuff, such as Path of Titans. Um, and it also allows me to finally get onto the mod showcases that I've been putting off for so long. And they will, well, they're going to need to happen soon because we're getting very, very close to the edge of Parkasaurus. And the end of Parkasaurus and the edge, I suppose. <laughs> the edge being the penultimate episode and the end being, well, the final episode. Um... So that's kind of crazy, I think. Also, Portal has arrived. Go back out, please. How many pieces have we got? Probably a few, right? Um, if we want some Carnotaurus... Uh, yeah, they, these guys don't need much space. We'll probably go for three of them. And currently, we can buy three of them. If we have the gems, that is. One, two. One, two. Um, so we've now got... The Carnotaurus, I suppose, <laughs> which means for the next dig site is going to be at Theropoda. So if we want it, not Theropoda, um, Sauropoda. So if we want to go Sauropoda, we want to obviously unlock the best of the best, so the Amplo or that. I feel like these guys should be a little bit higher, but hey. They all only need 700 feet, which is wild. Um, I think the Amplo, do they have the same enclosure? No, Rainforest Swamp. 
None of them have the same. <laughs> That's crazy. We'll go for the end plug, just because. Yeah, it sounds fun. Um, so we obviously need three. I could probably fit four in that enclosure actually. Uh, so we want four. So we'll be chasing four of these guys. One, two, three. Oh, okay, well, can't really afford them anyway. But we have got the um, Carnotauruses. They are prepped. They need a forest biome. So we will go ahead and just start getting it prepped. I don't think we'll get them down in this episode. We'll try. In fact, I want to try. Um, so we will try. <laughs> it's just how that works. Okay. Up. No. Perfect. Okay. And then just get this one across all the way. Perfect. Uh, get this across all the way. Perfect. And then we'll just go up from here. And there we go. Perfect. So this is now done. We want obviously a gate of some descript. I'm thinking one of these would look quite nice. Um, I'm going to put it here. We haven't got any donation boxes around here, which kind of uh, isn't ideal. So we will start to get some down. Um, I'll look for the T-Rexes. We've got one there, so I'll just put it there. So you can't really walk any further anyway. It wasn't really going to stop anyone. Here we go. We'll look at the summary. See how much our things have increased. Oh my great heavens. Fun has not gone anywhere. But food and toilet, absolutely perfect. That is insane. The fun, I, I don't get it. Maybe some of the food options we've got, we can increase some fun. So we might try that. Um, just have a look through some of these. What do these do? Increase walk speed. Increase walk speed, absolutely. No effect. Roasted chickpeas. Add 20% of food. Avocado. Whatever. <laughs> Shrimp dumplings. Squash. Uh, yeah, why not? Magic dust. Guest intrusion. No effect. Hot dog sauropod. Increases time. Um, which could be a double-edged sword. Because <laughs> they might not. Someone's fourth. Uh, increases funnel cakes. Increases dino watch speed. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Uh, let's have a look. We'll call a friend if into park. If it's 40, increase park time. Yeah, that's fine. Small peanuts add 5% of food. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> Standard cut. Smiley cut. Oh, my lord. Yeah, absolutely. Increases science. Shake. Why would you do that? <laughs> that seems... Un unnecessarily cruel um so we're not going to do that i kind of want no we're not we're not going to shake the can of our guests right so if we want to have sauropods not sauropods um what you my flips uh carnotaurus they need a forest which it currently is so we don't need to add too much water um so we do need to take that into account so we'll just get some water over here that's not going to take it to our rainforest great some over here some over here, and some over here, and maybe a drop over here, and there, just so we can get the um, pl necessary plants down, but we'll also need to give them some privacy tiles, because it's currently a forest, that's all we want to keep it in, um, the rest of this can just go down normally, I'm going to keep it nice and flat, um, just like, I'm like, like a plane for these Carnotauruses, um, most of the sort of hiding is just for if there's anyone above and they, they want to hide, not that they do most of the time. They just want to be a menace. Um, yeah, I know you escorted a thief. Well done. Um, right. Going to Sora Poda. Where are we? Here. Boom. Mantle. Yes. Dig. Let's go. Just grab these. So I don't have to see them. There we go. Um, are you big enough for a hat yet? No. Cool. Duly noted. Uh, we will need a... Go back in here. Where are we? Come on. We want some trees. So which one is this? I think this is the it's the multicolored one that is the um I think it even changes color based on the season or the location it's in, which is nice. But um these are the ones that are tier two. So remember that. But I also like some of the tier ones, like the oak trees, because they're quite fun. Um as well as some pines, preferably a large pine, even though their images are completely reversed, which is kind of hilarious. Um, because the pines just add some 
hiding capabilities for our dinos, which is nice. And then we've already hit the requirement. Lovely. Uh, you are the tier two, the ancient lycopods. So we'll get a couple of these in our colorful little forest area. Just hide them effectively. Um, the appeal is massively over now, which is nice. But we'll keep it going. And then we want the rocks. And none of that you don't get tier two rocks. So that's fine. But I like the spikes. I like the spikes a lot. So we'll just stick some spikes down. Get some boulders. They don't need to need to be near the water, which is nice. Um, as well as just some of these sorted rocks. Let's create a nice shape. And boom. We have it. It is perfect. It just needs a feeder. We will probably pick up some more large because I think these guys are larges. I could check. They're mediums. This is why we check. Uh, how is our check looking? Right, okay, that's fine, in fact. So that's fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and get our Carnotauruses down. Boom. Uh, let's see if you guys are going to be a problem. No, instantly I can tell they're not going to be a problem. Amazing. In terms of that, you know, they've, they've got the male to female ratio minimum covered, which is nice. Get you a back scratcher. I think that's quite nice. And then I'm on these little toys over here. Boom. So I can't tell. Is that 2, two million? 200 and... Wait, is it 2 million? 225,000, yeah. I thought that was 22 million for a second there. I was like, what? But we're bringing in insane money. Um, we'll have a look at the cost to thing, especially with the construction taken into account as well. I want to start taking it into account, you know. But that's insane. Um, we still made 16,000 after construction. So without construction and using the pool, we would have brought in 30,000. Wow. So if we have a look at the donations... Um, the Mosasaurus is actually bringing in some donations now, which is very, very nice. These guys haven't really got in a massive amount yet. Megalodon, still our biggest earner. Um, getting a lot of movement over here, which is crazy. Um, but still very, very cool. There's plenty of places for them to take a break as well, which is very nice. Very happy about that. Also, I don't think I'd put any... There we go. Just because you are leveling up while you're in there still, which is kind of crazy. Um... <laughs> This is insane. This park is so self-sufficient now. Um, I've got everything unlocked, which is kind of crazy. Ah, right, here we go. Parkosaurus challenge, no. And is it in the Parkosaurus challenge? <gasps> Sell balloons. There we go. Amazing. Because we've got lo loads of different shops now, I should get a variety of new challenges, which is nice. Um... So that is indeed quite nice. If I wanted to sell more balloons, all I've got to do is drop the price. Don't make so much of a profit. I can live without our profit on balloon ratio, can't I? In fact, if I make them 50, no profit. Why not? There are 50 cents. That's nothing. You can get two for a dollar, which is crazy. Um... And there we go. We got a little tiny little Carnotaur. Oh, they've got nice color scheme. Hold up. Is that black with blue detailing? I'm making it sound like a vehicle as opposed to a dinosaur, but you get the point. Where did you go, guys? Little buddies. I saw a sleeping thing. Yeah. Black with blue detailing. Black with green detailing. Oh my god, that is so cool. Those guys are awesome. Right, okay. Back out for the sauropoda. Yes, please. Um, so we've actually got our T-Rexes done. Um, I'm actually going to have a quick little look, say hello to them and also get a thumbnail opportunity. Look at these guys. <laughs> He's running off with a cardboard box. <laughs> He's got a cardboard box on his head. He's got a ball on his head. And you, you're probably best for the thumbnail. Oh, don't you dare. There we go. You're going to probably stick a cardboard box in your head now. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. Guys, stay still. I want a thumbnail. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. One of those will do, I'm sure. Um, the Spinosaurus is a massive now, which is kind of crazy. I do need a thumbnail of this area. I'm pretty sure I took one already, but ah, just to be safe. Get another one of the Watchtower. Um, yeah, this is a really popular location now. It's kind of crazy. Uh... Can people still get inside of these things or have I blocked them off? I think I've blocked them off, but 
it's fine wow <laughs> we really are getting close to the end of parker's Aurus, and i'm really happy i'm really sad um it's it's a it's definitely a double-edged sword so from that one sauropod dig we didn't get much we, we, we've got a little we've got a few more episodes in the tank um i could drag it out for loads but i don't think i will i'll do a bit of camera off off work camera off camera work good lord of just like letting things build up in terms of um dig sites going out constantly but hey i'm happy we got the three um top tier or three of the top tier theropods because i'm pretty sure there is four because the ornithomimus but i wasn't too fussed about having the ornithomimus um so we've got three of those guys and then we're gonna have one of the um sauropods <sighs> it's getting close to the end guys i know there's space here but i think we're just gonna leave this as it is we started off well intentioned and then we just built something like this <laughs> but we had fun we had fun Wallax caught a thief and escorted them out of a park. Thank you, Wallax. Mucho appreciado. We are going to end the episode here. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash the like button down below. If you haven't been subscribed to Chris Vico, super duper appreciate it. My name is Vico. You can come with me. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day. And ta -ra.